once was severely burned in a car accident six years ago, but now a young woman from Miami is getting help from an unlikely source, a former CIA specialist outside of Washington, D.C. And this story takes a surprising twist, and tonight we introduce you to Samantha Davis here, who is truly the face of courage. Our Janine Stanwood reports. Samantha's story is a story of transformation, of rebirth. <laughs> She's got a fierce spirit and an infectious laugh. You guys want to have a little fun with Sam? Yes. Awesome. Volunteering with kids in Liberty City every week. They looked at me as any other person. But Samantha Diaz wouldn't be here today had it not been for a crash that almost killed her. That changed everything. Now, with the help of an unlikely ally, her face is about to change too. December 29th, 2012. Samantha was just 14 when the car she was in crashed in Northwest Miami-Dade, bursting into flames. We're told that crash was brutal. She says she doesn't remember a thing. Samantha suffered third degree burns on her body and face, lost part of her right arm, and she would undergo 150 painful surgeries, enduring awful cruelty from perfect strangers. People will be staring at me. Her life wasn't easy. Mom had a tough time taking care of her. At 15, she entered foster care. She was running away because she wasn't feeling comfortable in the foster homes that they were putting her in and she was being bullied. Oh, it was the young Nelson Incapier runs Voices for Children, a foundation that helps kids in the system. One of the things I asked her is, you know, what do you want to do? One thing Sam wanted, he says, was a face to match the confidence she was starting to feel inside. Samantha did the research herself that led her to a town outside Washington, D.C., and a former disguise artist from the Central Intelligence Agency named Robert Barron. I was in the CIA for 24 years. Barron's specialty, making sophisticated disguises for agents overseas, the stuff out of spy novels. Their lives depend upon the realism of that disguise. But after working in a world of espionage, Barron realized he could use his skills to help everyday people like Samantha. I said, Bob, if you can put people in hiding, then you can bring people out of hiding. And I'm going to darken it up just a little bit, and I'm going to put it on first. So for the first time inside Barron's office, Samantha is getting a new ear created with soft silicone and painted for the perfect match. And it goes right there. Samantha's also being fitted with a new nose and an eye complete with some added eye makeup. Go, Bob, go. go. And after some finishing touches, she finally gets to see her new face. Oh, Isn't that nice? Looks good, right? Yeah, it looks good. When I have these on, I'm unnoticed. Some people may look at my arm, but nobody really looks at my face. Like, they don't notice me. But here's where the story takes a complicated and beautiful turn. <laughs> now that she's back in Miami, Samantha isn't yet wearing those new prosthetics everywhere. Have you seen the... No. At least she has a picture. Turns out, the kids love her just the way she is. And she just lights up the room with her, like... She's just so, yeah, her energy is always up. And Samantha, she loves the new nose, but she loves her own face too. It's a lesson in courage. I love myself and how I look without the nose, without the eye, and without the ear. That is me, that is who I am. This does not make me. She sees herself as a beautiful woman after the accident. It, it talks to us, to all of us, about the real beauty inside of each one of us. I look at myself now, I see beautiful. Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. And so do we. Thanks to donations to Voices for Children, the prosthetics were free of charge for Samantha. And by the way, she says she plans to write a book so she can tell her own story about her life. I thought Janine did a good job, but uh, I can't wait to hear and see what she says. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And you know, Nelson and Copier and Voices for Children, that's the guardian ad litem program for mm -hmm. all these kids who are in the foster care system. Imagine her parents, her mother there, just abandoning her because of mm -hmm. all this. But mm -hmm. that program does so much to get these kids a voice and to get them through the legal system and get them on their feet. Yeah, I know you do a lot of work for them too. Love don't working they? with yeah, them. Absolutely. Oh, and it's Samantha and Robert, they are tied together forever. So if you want to know more about Samantha Diaz, head to our website, which is always local10.com.